You loved Emilio, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Well, I love Mommy, too. But I did to Mommy what you did to Emilio. You stomped on Mommy? Worse. I shot Mommy. Not pretend shooting like we were just doing. I shot her for real. Why? Do you want to see what happened? No, I knew what would happen to Mommy if I shot her. What I didn't know was when I shot Mommy, what would happen to me. What happened? I was very sad. And that's when I learned some things, once you do, they can never be undone. What happened to Mommy? Why don't you ask mommy? You okay, mommy? Does it hurt? No, sweetie. Doesn't hurt anymore. Did it make you sick? <laughs> no. It made me sleep. That's why I haven't been with you, baby. I've been asleep. But you're awake now, mommy, right? I'm wide awake, pretty girl. Bibi, would you like Mommy to watch a video with you before sleepy time? Uh-huh. Mommy, do you want to watch a video with me before sleepy time? Oh, yeah, I would love to. Which one do you want to watch? Shogun Assassin. No, Bibi. Shogun Assassin is too long. Mm-mm. No, it's not. Well, then, I'll leave you ladies to it. When I was little, my father was famous. He was the greatest samurai in the empire. And he was the shogun's decapitator. He cut off the heads of 131 lords. My father would come home to mother, and when he'd see her, he'd forget about the killings. He wasn't scared of the shogun but the Shogun was scared of him. Maybe that was the problem. One night, the Shogun sent his mother.
just admiring your sword. What a piece of work. Speaking of which, how is Hansel-san? He's good. Has his sushi gotten any better? No, I couldn't believe it. You got him to make you a sword. It was easy. I just dropped your name, Bill. <laughs> That'd do it. I suppose the idea is we cross Hansa swords, am I right? Well, it just so happens this hacienda has its own private beach. And that private beach just so happens to look particularly beautiful, bathed in moonlight. And there just so happens to be a full moon out tonight. So, sword fighter, if you want a sword fight, that's where I suggest. But if you want to be old school about it, and you know I'm all about old school, <laughs> then we could wait until dawn and slice each other up at sunrise like a couple of real life honest. <laughs> now, if you don't settle down, I'm going to have to put one in your kneecap. And I hear tell that's a very painful place to get shot in. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Now, 